A Buffalo man who claims he was struck by a police vehicle and then falsely charged to cover up what really happened could soon get his day in court. James Kistner is suing the city of Buffalo and several officers alleging civil rights violations. But the city denies those claims. It's a story that News 4 investigates has been following since 2019. Here's News 4's Luke Moretti. We're very eager to try this case. Mr. Kistner's been waiting a long time. We first met James Kistner in December 2019. All I know is I stuck my hands out when I saw it coming at me and I closed my eyes. Kistner alleges that he was struck by a Buffalo police vehicle on New Year's Day 2017. His residential security camera recorded the incident on Schmarbeck Avenue. You can see Kistner approaching a police vehicle that starts to pull away. I put my hands out, I closed my eyes, and went down. That was boom, it was, it's over. Yeah. I'm on the ground. Kistner was handcuffed, arrested, and charged with criminal mischief and disorderly conduct. The charges were later dismissed. We believe this was deliberate. Attorney Anthony Rupp represents James Kistner in the civil case. We believe that they deliberately violated Mr. Kistner's right, rights, deliberately charged him falsely with a crime, deliberately tried to get him admitted to the CPEP unit at ECMC for an involuntary psychiatric admittance, deliberately violated his civil rights and all of that. Kistner sued the city of Buffalo and several police officers alleging civil rights violations. Among them, false arrest and imprisonment and malicious prosecution. The city denies the allegations in court papers. Police claim that Kistner threw himself at the vehicle, causing damage to a side mirror. The officer who was behind the wheel was asked about it during a 2020 civil deposition. Your view is that Mr. Um, Kistner not only threw himself at your vehicle, but that he intended to damage it? Yes. Now, a federal district judge has issued a decision and order, and it appears the case, James Kistner versus the city of Buffalo, is likely headed for trial. I have no problem trying all of the cause of action and proving that the officers acted in dereliction of duty that day and deliberately in violation of my client's civil rights. Judge Lawrence Filardo wrote in his decision, the video neither conclusively proves nor disproves the officers' accounts of what they saw, and the officers' perceptions were not necessarily what they say they were. Rupp says he plans to challenge the officers' perceptions of what happened if the case actually goes to trial. It's their perceptions that they claim they had all line up with the easy way out here. We didn't do anything wrong. We didn't hit a pedestrian with our vehicle. Both Kistner and the city of Buffalo can claim a partial victory based on Judge Villardo's decision and order. Some of Kistner's claims have been dismissed, while others can proceed. A big one left on the table is a claim based on what's known as Manel liability. It's a special type of claim against a municipality, in this case, the city of Buffalo. And usually you have to show a pattern and practice of bad behavior to get there, but in rare instances you can show a Monell claim against a municipality for uh, repeated failures to follow its own procedures and protocols relative to a single incident, and that's what we have here. Judge Villardo's decision states, the circumstances here show a series of distinct failures arising from the single incident on January 1st, 2017. For example, Kistner filed a notice of claim in 2017, but Buffalo Police did not launch an internal affairs investigation until December 2019, after News 4 Investigates televised the first of several reports on the case. It wasn't the filing of the notice of claim, it wasn't the lawsuit, it was the news report that prompted the city of Buffalo to open an internal affairs investigation. What did the internal probe find? Then police commissioner Byron Lockwood concluded that there was not sufficient evidence to prove the case and ruled the complaint not sustained. Here's what Lockwood said during a 2020 deposition. From the investigation, it never showed that um, she was negligent or that she intentionally hit him. And and from what I see, saw in the video, I couldn't, um, 
couldn't determine. An accident reconstruction expert hired by Kistner's legal team states that the police vehicle was accelerating forward at the time of impact, that Kistner approached at a normal walking speed, slowed his pace, stopped, and then was knocked backward by the forward motion of the vehicle. The expert concludes that there's no physical evidence to support that Kistner charged or threw himself at the vehicle. But again, the police version of what happened is different. My assessment was that he purposely walked towards a vehicle and threw himself into it. Federal District Judge Lawrence Villardo has ordered all parties to contact the court within 30 days to schedule a status conference to set a trial date. News 4 Investigates has reached out to the city attorney's office for a comment on where the case stands and whether the city will appeal. So far, there's been no response. Luke Moretti, News 4.